The Gutai Journal made its way around artists, critics in the United States and in Europe. And one of the people who received it was a French art critic and entrepreneur called Michel Tapier. And Tapier was inspired to come to Japan in 1957, searching and promoting his idea of art informel. Art informel was an idea and a concept linking together artists' movements in the United States, Europe and Japan. Tapier arranged for a Gutai Group exhibition to take place at the Martha Jackson Gallery in New York City in 1958. The work was dismissed as being derivative of abstract expressionism. And it's only been in the last decade that there's been a reappraisal of Shiraga's work in the United States. We made the first exhibition of Shiraga's work in 2009. Since then, we have pioneered the understanding of his work. The international reception in Paris was particularly strong to Shiraga's work. Tapier also arranged for Shiraga to be included in a group exhibition at the Gallery Stadler, Paris, in 1959. And that inspired Rudolf Stadler to make the first solo exhibition of Shiraga's work in 1962 in Paris. Shiraga and Stadler collaborated on exhibitions for the next 30 years. This is a particularly important painting from 1963. And this is an example of the sense of post-war angst and of what the Japanese people and Shiraga himself had been through during the wartime years. And it's one of the most visceral and upsetting paintings that I've come across in my life. From 58 to about 1964 signals a time of great productivity for Shiraga. Towards the middle of the 1960s, there's a noticeable fall off in Shiraga's productivity. And this ebbs and continues to diminish until 1970, where he almost ceases entirely to paint. 